The US Family Step 1 exam is considered by many candidates as the journey of no return. And when I say a journey of no return, we all understand what I mean by that. Because if you are somebody studying for the US Family currently, or you have also sat for the US Family exams in the past, then you will really know the gravity of this exam and how important it is. Now, have you wondered the number one question that people typically ask when we come back from the exam center? That question is usually they want to find out what we would have done differently if we had the chance to start all over again. And this question is something that most of my subscribers have asked. And I want to use this opportunity to talk about some of the things that I feel I would have done differently if I had the chance to start all over. And uh, before I go into this topic, I want to appeal to you to kindly support my channel by subscribing uh, to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button and also uh, hit the notification bell. Also, just leave a little comment for me because it helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest my video to other people. And even if you don't have anything to say, just say hi to me in the comment box and that is enough for me. And thanks for uh, doing that. So let me go straight to the point and I'll not keep this video very long. The first thing that I think that I would have done differently if I had the chance to start all over would date back to med school. So when I went to med school, the first thing that I should have done was to think about writing the USMLE. So I was, I am an IMG and then I schooled outside the US and I never had any plan to sit for the USMLE exams. So I did not study according to the USMLE exam and I didn't program my mind. So I finished like, I completed the whole six years med school before I thought of writing the USMLE exams. And I think if I decided to write it early from day one when I entered the med school, it would have made a very great difference. That means I would have started uh, tuning my mind towards the exams and also prepping for it. Then the second thing is not studying up to the standard for the USMLE exams. And most IMGs will testify to the fact that our curriculum is a little bit different. For example, I never studied the biostats in my med school. And then USMLE was the first time I was introduced to it. And there are other topics that we do not pay close attention in other curriculum, especially when I was in med school, certain things that I saw in the USMLE step one prep. We read them all right. They are part of the curriculum, but we don't pay so much attention to it because our exams, our like end of semester exams do not um, test the details of uh, all these pathways and all this difficult stuff on the USMLE step one. So it's something that I would have done differently learning according to the standard of the USMLE step one. The third thing that I would have done differently is that I would start studying UWorld as early as possible in my prep. So as soon as I decided to write the USMLE Step 1, UWorld would be one of the first resources that I would get and I would have loved to start UWorld very early. I started with the first aid. In my case, I read almost the whole first aid and most of the topics, I do not remember anything. So reading through the first aid, the first time I'll consider it as not doing anything. I didn't even, I had not started studying for the USMLE step one. But when I got a few world and things took a different trajectory and, and that was helpful. The next mistake that I did was not using a study partner, not studying with somebody. I didn't study with a study buddy for like the first six months of my prep and that it's not a smart way that I should have done things. I mean, I could have used a study partner because when I compared my first six months of studies to the rest of my prep uh, time, you could see that studying with a study buddy made things move faster for me, made my understanding improve better and also helped me to stay on track and not relent in my effort. So if you're somebody who is studying alone and you may think that, yeah, 
you can study all by yourself but you also want to try a study buddy and see the difference because study buddies are very very important there are so many advantages of a study buddy for example you can read one sentence and i think you understand it but a study buddy may also understand it in a different way and then when you guys talk about it you come to a common understanding and then that will help you guys to uh, really improve your, uh, your 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 steps and also solving you world questions yes with a study buddy i'm able to solve you all um all the uh, three thousand five hundred questions within uh, one and a half months and that is very helpful um, the next mistake that i did on my usmle uh, prep journey is not reviewing my ndmas and the images very well after i take them because what i was thinking was very wrong and i'm just going to share that with you here so what i was thinking is that okay so if i review the nbmes and then i take them and then i see repeated questions that means that it's going to compromise my 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 next nbme but then so so when i was i started doing nbmes i will do the first one i will not review it and do the second one i will not review it and i was never passing the nbme and that wasn't smart on my way but until i decided to start reviewing the nbmes and then work on those weak topics that i scored incorrect then i was i began to improve in my um, nbme scores so it's one thing that you want to do it's something that i should have done and um yeah so Re uh, reading through all the explanations currently the nbm is come with explanations so reading all those explanations are very helpful and also the images you want to master all those images in the nbm because hey images form about 10 percent of the usml score uh, sorry usml step one exams and this is something that most people don't know people don't tell you but images are very important so thanks for watching this video and uh, just give me a thumbs up if you like this video also subscribe so that any video that i make in the future or i post you will be notified as soon as i uh, post it also just give me a little comment and that will help the youtube algorithm and thanks so much and i have to go now see you in the next video bye